very aware that, you know, I'm getting a bit squishy. My posture's bad. I'm kind of curving over. I've even got brown spots on my skin. I fear I'm not so much aging as turning into a banana. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, don't be, don't be fooled. You're probably thinking tonight, oh, new act in the Oriel Hall. It's going to be a bit community. <laughs> um, but no, trust me, I have seen, I've seen every one of the acts tonight and they are proper funny. They're very, very talented people. But what they have been doing, they have been honing their craft under the expert tutelage of Mr. Pat Welsh. With a black child underneath each arm. <laughs> one of whom has pissed themselves. <laughs> but when we, got back, when we got home, Badger was out all the time. <laughs> was every day. I don't know if it was a scene or what it was, but anyway, he was out every day. I mean, it was like spring watch in my bedroom. <laughs> Eighteen-year-old man, boy. <laughs> Actually, like mother, like son. There, he's got a joint problems all of his own. And when she's asleep, I put little plastic pipes up her nose. <laughs> Similarly, if your neighbour says to you, "Hey, Stephen." I've finished that shed. Do you remember the one I bought in B&Q about three years ago? And I've never got round to building it. I finished it. It's in the back garden. Now, what you want to say is... <laughs> Again, I'm starting to get the gist of this. Um, back to the sex thing with animals. <laughs> <laughs> no easy way to follow that. 